Hi, are you looking for a beginner camping packing list? If so, I got you. Check out my blog post where I'll be talking about all the products that we are packing today. To start off, this is where we put most of our gear so that we can just stuff it under the bed and then when we're packing again, it comes right up in this big collection of things. This is a portable basin that you see at the top. The first thing we have is our tent. It is lightweight, so that means that we can possibly take it on backpacking trips in the future. This is the super light version, that's why that's what the SL stands for. There's a door on each side, there's a mesh at the top, so it gives us a really nice view of the trees, or if we want to stargaze, we can just lie in a tent and look up. There's a decent amount of headroom, so you don't feel like it's too cramped, even though this is probably good enough as a backpacking. The next item that you need would be your sleeping bag or your quilt. You want something that is warm but not too bulky. So these are rated for 15 Fahrenheit which is almost minus 10 degrees Celsius. This is the mummy style bag and this is the quilt. It's a mummy style so you can cinch it at your neck to enclose your face. So it's really warm, keeps you close throughout your whole body. It's rated 15F but I think most people would take it down to 25 to 30F which is close to freezing temperatures. As you can see it's a little bit smaller that's because the quilt doesn't have a back so it can also be opened up as a blanket. I think it's nice if you're somebody who likes to roll around in your sleep or stretch your legs so but the only thing is you need a really good sleeping pad so that your back doesn't get cold. So the next part is about sleeping pads. These are the insulation material that you will sleep on. So it's the ones that we got are inflatable. Uh, they're a bit more comfortable and they have quite good um, rating. So this is going to be rated on an R value basis. So there's a industry-wide standard which is the ASTM F3340 standard. So most of the big brands will be using this uh, metric. And we chose sleeping pads that are a bit wider. So this is gonna be uh, 24 inches wide and this is 25 inches wide. And in terms of thickness, both are three inches. This sleeping pad, it is rated a value of two. If it's not too cold, you can just use this in the summer and it's uh, much cheaper compared to all the other sleeping pads. It's not compact. You can't really stuff it into a bag. So most people carry it on the outside if they're going backpacking. It's a very nice add-on. So if you are trying to stack on the R values, they add up linearly. So this is, let's say 4.2 plus 2 gives you a total R value of 6.2. So this is the Moon Lens camping chair. It's just a lightweight camping chair that we got off Amazon. Our camping pillows. If you are planning to cook, you might want to get one of these coolers. This one that I have is 30 quarts. So you're gonna need a portable camping stove if you're not planning to cook over the open fire. So this is a two burner stove from Coleman. These are the wind guards, these ones that you can prop them up to make the wind guard stand. So it will be powered by propane gas and you will need a lighter because these don't have any ignition. So next we need a pot and some things to cook with. So these are ones that we're just bringing from home and we have our utensils in there and then we're gonna be using these bowls that we got from Target and then you also need some cups for coffee or just if you're making cup noodles you need something. So then for coffee we are going with the Aeropress so you need filter paper and of course coffee which is not and then also you may want to bring some skewers so these are just your standard marshmallow skewers you can extend it so you can also bring some fire starters if you are planning to set up a campfire as for our cleaning supplies we have some paper towels trash bags over here hemp soap so this is some biodegradable soap with citronella things that repel insects. We have wet wipes, wet wipes, spray bottles. So in this bottle, we will probably put in some soapy water so that we can spray our dishes and then this one will just have water that we can rinse the soapy water off. 
And if we want, we can use the paper towels to wipe our things dry because it doesn't have to be super clean when you're camping. And then finally, if we need to do some heavy washing, we have this portable basin because sometimes the sink can be quite far away. And other miscellaneous items you might want to bring, water bottle, lip balm, some lock, first aid kit, Swiss army knife, duct tape, bring your ID, your credit cards, any cash. If you're trying to buy firewood, sometimes they only take cash. Make sure to bring your tripod, your camera, any phone chargers or Apple Watch chargers. So now we have packed this for our camping gear. This will mainly be for our clothes. This is my half. So we'll also be packing in our toiletries. I have some sleeping clothes, some warm socks, maybe a beanie, long pants, some warm layers. And so if you need, you can also bring a GPS phone holder thing. So this one can be mounted on the windshield. So it's very good if you're renting a car and they do not provide a GPS, make sure you get one of these. So now we move on to lights. We need some lanterns, a headlight to help you because it's so much easier than having to hold something while you're looking for things. And just fairy lights to set the mood, give you some cozy camping vibes. So also remember to download your offline maps and to bring along any physical maps if you're hiking, bring a cap, sunglasses, sunblock, uh, layers if you're gonna feel cold. And also bring some snacks, so some things that will help to refuel you during a hike, especially if you're doing a slightly longer hike. And also bring a lot of water. And so for day pack, Marik's gonna be using the Talon 22. It's a very nice size day pack. It has an internal frame. It's very breathable and it's ergonomic. So I am bringing the REI Flash 22. Also quite lightweight. It's actually lighter than the Osprey bag and it doesn't really have much of a structure. No frame, it's a one size fits all kind of bag. Fits our jacket, my camera, my little pouch and a cap. I hope you enjoy your next trip and thank you for following me on my packing afternoon and I hope to share more with you in future. You can also check out my blog on wheresjennis.com for more tips and more itineraries. Okay, see you next time.